shooters, a genre of games that has enticed the world for years. Games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Halo. All games made by big corporations trying to make the most money. Best user experience. But what happens when one of these games are made by a single person? Well, you get an indie game. These games, which may or may not be better than the games made by the big corporations, are a spectacle of passion that individual developers have when making a game. Now what happens when you get a whole community of these developers all together to make one game like this? Well, you get Operation Harsh Doorstop. Alright, now let's look at this game single player. At first, I wasn't a big fan of it, but that was until I realized that you could literally change the amount of bots on each team. So if you really wanted to, you could just have trench warfare with 64 v 64 bots all in one map. It causes a lot of lag, but it's totally worth it. And another thing, if you really wanted to, you could go through the highest form of pain in this game and have you and a small modern squad go up against 64 whole soldiers from World War II. And yeah, the variety of time periods available in this game is really good. They have World War I, World War II, the Cold War, and the classic PMC vs. Insurgents. So right off the bat, the single player for this game is looking really good, and I haven't even gotten into the multiplayer. Now the multiplayer is where this game really starts to get real, whereas in single player, it's just a whole bunch of bots running around, but in multiplayer, the gameplay is more calculated, like you're fighting in an actual war. Take this scenario, you load into a game, you and two others run into one of the main roads and set up a sniper position. You pull up your sniper and aim down sights and start to survey the area. Across the road, you see another man with a sniper in his hand. Quickly, you take cover, knowing that he's seconds away from pulling the trigger. And as expected, the bullet flies right by you. Your two other teammates run directly towards the man while you with your sniper provide suppressing fire to make sure he never leaves cover. Sure enough, your teammates take him out and you move on to the next position. This is just one of many interactions I've had in this game's multiplayer. Meanwhile, in single player, there's less focus on cooperation and more individual focus, but that is expected of a single player game mode, of course. So yeah, this game is pretty much amazing on all fronts. It's a good mix of campaign shooter and tactical shooter, and the best part of it all, it is free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you have any ideas of what I should make a video on in the future, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.